Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 520 uh sorry, 526 p.m. on a happy Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. There's really not much news today, so instead I'll share some uh, valuable tips about Roseview Living. Are you making good use of the recycle box? Uh, not really, I always forget about it. Anyways guys, welcome back! I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. Uh, I did not record anything yesterday. I did play a little bit. Um, we... God, what did we do yesterday? Cat gave us a street light, I think. Um... What else happened? What else? I saw my first tarantula. I didn't catch it. It despawned. Um, and I did a little bit of organizing and I weeded the back area of the island. But yesterday I had this massive headache and I was just not in the mood to record. But I still figured I would sign on and do a couple things. So uh, here we are today. It is the 30th, like he just said. And that means Cookie should be fully moved in. So why don't we go ahead and start off today by saying hello really quickly. Um, but yeah, otherwise things have been... This is a street light, by the way. Uh, things have been very, very chill. Uh, and I think... Oh, there she is. Oh, hi! Crystal, hey! I'm finally done cleaning up. It was totes hard work, but I did it. Now I got room to dance. Hold up, I just remembered. I thought maybe you'd like this, so here you go. Thank you. Just a chic little souvenir I brought from my last island. Check it, a lawnmower. I just had this feeling those might be your thing, and now they get to be Rosie's thing, too. Alright, I'll leave it to you. All right, so we got a uh, we got a lawnmower <laughs> from uh, from Cookie. I guess we'll take it. Maybe we'll put this back here behind her house, actually. Um, and we have one more house plot to put down. So as you guys have been telling me, apparently, um, I need to go villager hunting like before I finish putting down all the furniture for, for the house. I believe, if I'm understanding it correctly. So. We're gonna do that today. I am only gonna go. Oh, it's another balloon. Oh, it's a, it's a bunny day one. Um, sorry, we're gonna go uh, villager hunting, but we are only gonna go once. Whoever we find is whoever we get. We're not gonna bother, you know, spending nook miles and searching for, you know, dreamies when their houses are not gonna be their proper houses. <laughs> uh, oh, we got the bunny day fence. Nice. That's awesome. I was kind of hoping for a sky egg because I have not collected any of those or the water uh, ones yet, actually, now that I think about it. I have so many earth ones um, and a whole bunch of tree ones after yesterday, actually. Um, so why don't we go ahead... Let me see here, let me take a look at my map. If I can, like, fit in the house up here, I don't think it'll actually work. But if I can fit in the house up here, that'd be really nice. No. <laughs> okay. I'm probably gonna have to like put it on the grass here. Hopefully I only knock out like a couple of trees. Uh that should be fine. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Okay. So I'm gonna go villager hunting so that we don't run into another weird situation. Um and I guess I'll cut back to you guys when we actually land on the island. Alrighty, here we are on the island. Are you guys ready to see who it's going to be? I think it's going to be a normal villager, right? Let's see. We got... Uh, I see a fire. Ooh, is that a... Is that Flurry? <gasps> are we getting some cuties or what? Hi! I'm pretty sure that's Flurry. Okay, we are 100% taking her. I'm- I am 100% fine with the villagers we've gotten so far. I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this tour. I'm Flurry. And you're a crystal from Roseview? I'm glad you stopped to talk to me. One thing I love about traveling is the chance to make new friends. Oh, you are the cutest. <laughs> it must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery has given me a new perspective on my life back on my island. I like it well enough, but... Uh, moved to my island. Moved to Roseview. That's an interesting idea. 
You know, I think I might have gotten in touch with your island... Sorry, with your island about moving there a while ago. What are the odds that I'd run into someone from Rozu here? Anyway, your support means a lot. I think I'll start packing to move as soon as I get back from this tour. There we go. So I guess Flurry is going to be our, uh... Our next, our next villager, which is really exciting. I feel like we've gotten a lot of really good ones, so I am incredibly happy. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and collect some resources from this island, and then I'll cut back to you guys back on Roseview. So, see you in a couple minutes here. Alrighty then, we are back on Roseview. Um, I got a whole bunch more eggs than I was expecting to get, unfortunately, but I did also get a DIY. I wanted to open it with you guys, so let me go ahead and grab this. This is from Audie, so she's one of the new villagers. And we got a shell table. That's really cool. Awesome. Alrighty. Um, so we should probably take a look at what we're going to need for... Um, for, uh, I'm not gonna get that, I'll get that later, <laughs> sorry. Uh, for this third house here. I'm so used to, like, you know, getting all the fossils and stuff right away. And, um, the eggs make it impossible to find the fossils, so. Okay, so, let's do inside first. Wooden simple bed, wooden chair, classic picture. Hopefully I have enough wood stuff here. Um... I have been hitting trees, but again, I'm kind of running into the same thing I did last year. Uh, because I restarted when I did, I'm having so many more eggs than I am, like, in you know, normal pieces of wood, unfortunately. Oh god, wait a minute. It was a chair and a table, right? Oh, I'm second-guessing myself. <laughs> Ooh, also, we did get the stone and the earth um, outfits. Yeah, it was just a, a chair and, and the table, right? And the pitcher? I'm pretty sure it was that. I have enough for the pitcher already. Okay. Let's go in. I, I uh, went ahead and made myself a crafting table for inside yesterday. Low key. Who else would love it is if you put, like, a, um, a crafting table inside. If it could, like, pull from your storage, essentially. So, like, you know, you didn't have to take everything out and have it on your person. I think that would be amazing. Okay, so I'll take out uh, all the wood we have. We don't have a lot of soft wood. We are running incredibly low on that, so this might be interesting. <laughs> okay, so we definitely need the pitcher. I really need to come in here and redo my house at some point. This is kind of a mess. Hopefully I can find some wallpaper and flooring that I like as well. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it was the table. If it's not the table or chair, I don't really mind because I want it for my own house anyway. Um, this is what I ha uh, get for having like a five second memory, honestly. But the others have all had tables and chairs, so I'm going to assume that's probably what it wants. Okay, perfect. Um, and I forget what this one's gonna want for outside as well. I, I remembered, like, the hyacinth thing, and I remembered the uh, iron stuff, but for this one, I'm actually not sure. It was a bed. <laughs> Gosh darn it, me. Oh, someone in chat is getting real frustrated with me right now, but it's okay. It's, it's okay. I should probably go make the bed. Actually, okay, I need the bed. Remember that. <laughs> uh, what do I need for outside? Water pump and the bed. <laughs> the stool, log stool, and a garden lounge. You know what I should do? I should be smart about this. Uh, so I need the bed. And we can favorite things. <laughs> Uh, we need the log stool. This is the garden lounge. Oh god, what was the other thing? It was the water pump, wasn't it? Water pump. So I think we have enough to make everything. This is going well. 
And hopefully I don't have to go back in my house for any of this, because I do have a crafting table on the outside as well, of course. <gasps> oh my goodness, hello! Look at you! Hey, let me, let me sit. He's so cute! He blinked, but it's okay. I've, I don't think I've really ever had an octopus, other than Marina. I had Marina once a very long time ago in New Leaf, but I just generally don't have these types of villagers, so... Yay! Are you out for a walk? Another neat day on Roseview, Bloop. I kind of love him, not gonna lie. I never really saw the appeal before, but he's a cutie. I mean, who am I to lie, though? We, we got some good villagers in this town. We're having some pretty good luck. I think the only one who, like, I'm not 100% for is Kat, and even then, like, I'm fine. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. She is pretty nice. Okay, good. This is just hardwood. That's awesome. I was worried it was gonna be normal wood, and I wouldn't have enough for both this and the bed. I'm gonna have to smack some trees later, though. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. So now we have everything for what will be Flurry's house. I feel bad that these villagers, these really cool villagers who we're getting, aren't gonna have really cool houses, but there's only so much I can do. Right, I have to actually put those down, don't I? Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and put down uh, these things just around the house here. Uh, not that one. <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy I have that one because I did want a table for my... Um, uh, for my lamp. I have a lamp that we have in our house and uh, I felt it needed a table for a while now so this is perfect. Uh, check exterior? I just realized something. There isn't a sold sign. Okay, this is making me nervous. Game? Where is my sold sign? Okay, you know what? Don't panic. No one panic. We're gonna go in. And we're gonna go speak to Nook. And he'll probably comment that we finished. And we're gonna come back out. And hopefully her name is there. Oh goodness, let's see. Ah, oh, Crystal, hello, hello! How have things been going since we last spoke? Are you close to finishing the plots and furniture? Uh, everything's done. Goodness, really? Thank you so much for all your hard work. Because of you, I'm in construction mode and welcome to the island mode. And that, my friend... Sorry, and that's that, my friend. You have finished everything I asked of you. Aha, uh -huh, let me give you a token of my appreciation, as promised. Yes, yes, this is for you. Oh, <gasps> fences! <laughs> my favorite. It's some fencing. You could surround your home to create a yard, or surround some flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easier for you to create yards or parks or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Roseview. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wooden fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future, I'll offer DIY fencing recipes you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. The selection will change daily, and we'll offer a variety of designs. Check the Nook Stop sometime, hmm? So, if anyone here is new and you haven't been following me for a while, you should know my favorite things in Animal Crossing are fences and paths, and they added both of those properly to New Horizons, so I love both when creating towns. <laughs> I couldn't have done this without you, Crystal, that's for certain. Yay, we did it! <laughs> oh, that was a weird, like, transition. It's like they didn't want to show him walking backwards. <laughs> There we go, we got some more Nook Malls for that. Uh, do we have any others? Nope. 
Okay. Um, so this is just the normal fencing, right? It is. Okay. Fair enough. So I think what I need to start doing is kind of getting some idea for my layout. I really want to keep the rivers as natural as possible. And I really want like a little main street thing again. I'm trying hard not to just redo designs I've done in the past, but it's super tempting. Um, I don't know if you guys fall into the same pattern as I do, but... All right, well, that's done. That's awesome. Do you guys want to go see if we got any new hybrids? I Oh, <laughs> Pierce, hi. Yo, how are you? Don't mind me, I'm just keeping the peace on Rose, do you? I try to do a few patrol jogs every day. Um, sorry, yeah, no, I was saying, I brought down uh, some of the hyacinths from the area up above and um, watered them yesterday. I don't know if we'll get any hybrids, to be honest, but ooh, hello, new DIY. I don't think these have eggs in them ever. Uh, you pick this up, so you get a prize. An egg recipe. A wonderful day, a wonderful you. Could this be your lucky item? You better start crafting it. Look at split if you want to find out. It's a wall. <laughs> I'll take it. I would like to collect all the buddy day stuff. I hope that I'm able to. Uh, let's see. I planted it. Didn't I plant them here? Oh, here they are. Okay. Uh, no. No, we did not get a single DIY, or DIY, oh my god, it's a single new flower, but that's okay. I think that this watering can waters multiple, it does. So this one we're trying to get blue here, by the way, this one we're trying to get pink. And this one down here we're trying to get purple, I think I need blue and or purple, sorry, orange. I think we need orange and blue to get purple, I was thinking about the color purple. Um, so we're going to start with these basic colors first and then hopefully make some progress. We'll see how it goes. Um, I might try breeding more slowly than I have in the past. Um, I used to do like big gardens where like I try to get everything all at once. I think I might stick to one type of flower at a time so that I don't get overwhelmed. Um, so we'll try and get all the hyacinths, you know, all the various kinds we can get. And then we'll move on to like tulips or something else. Um, that being said... I do have these here, and these are ready to start uh, breeding as well, so... I mean, within reason. Let's see, I wonder if this is going to be an egg. I feel like these move faster than other balloons. Oh, 100% they do. Okay, that is an egg, nice. I've been waiting to get one of those. Uh, let's check out the shop just because I haven't been in here and I would like to see if they have maybe some new furniture for us. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything I really want here, but maybe you have some wallpaper. Not that I have a lot of bells on me at the moment. Um, I kind of like that, I'm not going to lie, but I kind of want to use this one as well. I'm going to come back with some bells for that one actually. I've always wanted to use that floral uh, flooring, but I've never really found a good theme to go with it. Um, I might end up asking for help from you guys just to decide what sort of theme I'm going for in my house, because I have so much trouble deciding. Gosh darn it. <laughs> That's okay though. Um, maybe we'll find the money rock here. Let's focus on that. We can also get some resources, of course. Uh, find the money rock, see if we can't buy that, uh, that flooring. Gosh darn, this has been the money rock for, like, a good couple days, so I was hoping it'd be this one again. On the, uh, on the island where we found Flurry, I didn't check Flurry's thing yet. Actually, we should do that first. Um, but where, I, where we found Flurry, I was hitting the rocks there, and I legit had a rock that spat out, like, majority rock eggs. It was so frustrating. <laughs> like, I, for I forgot about that part of Bunny Day. Okay, let's see if the sold sign is there now. Okay, it is. Did we do it right this time? Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. 
It's a little bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? Uh, oh, hello. There we go, I'll take another one of those. There's another balloon here. I think this is a normal one. Yeah, it is. Let's just wait for it to come a little bit more inland here. There we go. Let's see if this is anything new, shall we? A detective's coat? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's really cute, but maybe maybe not right now. Also, you know what? I'm gonna take off the hat for a while. We've been wearing it since like day one, I think. I just realized I also don't have my glasses on my character, so this is even weirder. I don't know why I just suddenly noticed that. I really probably should have a while ago. <laughs> Um, also, we did have Leaf come yesterday. I forgot to talk to him completely. The poor boy. Um, but I figure that's for the best anyway, because I'd rather talk to him and see what he has for the first time with you guys. Ooh, money tree. Is this the 1,000 money tree, though? It might be. It is. Gosh darn it. That's okay, though. We have enough to buy the, uh, the flooring I wanted now, at least. There we go. I really, really like the upper part of our island, by the way. I, maybe I'll give you guys a quick tour. Gullivar, that you? What's up, buddy? Mm, ah, don't want to get up, Ma. Let me sail the seven Zs. <laughs> you can, can call that a sea bass. I give it a C minus at best. Ah, oh, yum, yum. <laughs> Yo ho, yo ho, pirate sounds, etc. Gulliver? Alright, I don't care if it's me turn to man the helm. Me nap time is me nap time. Come on, you can do it. Raise the main sail, ready the yard sail. Anyone seen the mi mizen? Mizen pass? I don't, actually don't know what that is. <laughs> Hello? Arr. There we go. This buffet may be the end of me, lads, but I think I can tamp a bit more peach cobbler down me gullet. I would love some peach cobbler right now. Avast! Where'd the buffet go? What trickery is this? Do you even know who you'd be messing with? I'd be Captain Gullivar, legendary pirate feared for all manner of dreadful uh, gullduggery. Now, where's the cruel matey who burst me buffet bubble? Was it ye? Ah, you don't look very cruel. Suppose you did me a favor, I might have gobbled up this whole beach. Ah, you saved me stomach lining from a sandy demise. Begging your pardon for me sleepy confusion. Oof, but I do have a powerful ache in me noggin. I was partaking in a bit of the good soda with me crew. Ooh, the good soda. Hmm. All right. We all know that means Coke. Um, and never Pepsi. <laughs> but I tumbled over the prow and into the sea. Tis not but a mild inconvenience, though, for we be living in an age of gadgety miracles. I've got me a treasure that can summon a ship day or night, sea or shore. So long as I've got me trusty old communicator, I'll just be, uh... Oh my gosh! <laughs> me trusty communicator's gone and vanished, Our <laughs> Those waves bought me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of me pocket. That means... I'm lost at sea. I'll have to wait for me buccaneer buddies to find me on their own. That could take quite a bit of time. I'm still workshopping on pirate ponds. Those are sure to run out fast. I'm begging you, matey. Will you help me find me communicator? I got you, buddy. Are you means it? Now there's a shanty deserving of a jig. Me gut says me communicator is in a nearby ocean. Crew surely searching for me, so I should keep lookout. Go boss to be... Gots to be on land for that. Sorry about that. <laughs> that means it's up to you to swim out and find me communicator. I'm counting on you. Oh, and make sure there's room in your pockets before you hunt. Else you'll be blundering, you're blundering. Has anyone actually ever found it with their pockets full? Or will it just not spawn? I've never actually tried that. Anyway, I think that's our first film with uh, Gullivar. I'm pretty sure we've seen Gulliver before. But not Gullivar. I can't remember who it was. Someone in stream kept making the joke that, oh, we need a Gulliver. Like a, a ghoul, ghost, ghostly version of him, and I'm so down for like a like a, a bajillion different variants of Gulliver. I think that'd be fantastic. <laughs> okay. I still need to check my mailbox also. Let's not worry about that, though. 
Okay. Um, you know what? Let me put away some things here, actually, because we don't we don't need all this on us. I'll put away my hat and this outfit as well. I'm gonna keep the fencing on me because, yeah, you know what? Actually, no. You know what? I am gonna keep it on me because I'll forget that I have it, and then I won't put it down, and then that's just. You know what? Fine, that's fine. Uh, I'll be sad. <laughs> Let's get our diving suit. Let's do the black and white stripes today. Also, uh, I was thinking there's some new Bunny Day stuff that was introduced. Uh, but it's only available in Timmy and Tommy's upgraded store, I think. So I might end up transferring some of that stuff over from Lily Bell to this town, you guys, just so that I have everything. Um, so fair warning if you suddenly see items that you might not recognize me having got during this playthrough. Oh, this matches my socks! <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's also repurchasable from the catalog, so I should be able to get duplicates of it pretty easily in my other town to send over here. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Watch as I find a, uh, a scallop before I find his communicator. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm second-guessing myself. Did we find Gulliver earlier in this playthrough? Because I seem to remember diving for his communicator, but... Maybe I'm thinking of Lily Bell. I'm not sure. <laughs> Either way, we just found it, so that's awesome. Let's go give it to him. <laughs> There he is. I hope that we get something cool. I really like the pirate stuff. Have you found it yet? Uh, yar. <laughs> Arr, that's it! That's me, precious communicator. I thank you with all me heart matey with extra cherries on top even. Now I can contact me faithful crew. I've asked the lily-livered sea dogs to desire your beloved captain who makes things happen. <laughs> I had another bad spill, so you best change course and come pick me up. Here be me coordinates. Be quick about it or I'll buckle your swashes for good, so says Captain Gullivar. Our winky face send. <laughs> Arr, that ought to put some wind in their sails and no mistake. You saved me life, that's a debt that needs repaying, so I'll ship you a fine reward soon. Expedited. Ah, oh, it takes a load off. Nothing left to do but wander this here beach and look mean. Here I go. Aw. I really like him. He's just cool. I don't know. I know some people are like, oh, why would you introduce Gulliver twice when you could introduce a new NPC? But like, or, you know, returning one, but I'm chill with it. He's cool. He's cool. I feel like Gulliver's been through so much over, over the years. <laughs> I did not want to take those off, but all right, I'll deal with it. Um, let's go buy that flooring that I wanted, and then we'll probably just check my mail, I think. Because I think I saw a certain letter from a certain bunny, and I was a little bit scared to open it alone. I really do like that they made this version of Nurse Cranny again, just as a huge callback to the, uh, the older games. Just makes me nostalgic, you know? Any game that will hit me in the nostalgia is just generally a good time. Uh, there it is. Alright, you guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> what if he jumps out of the letter? Hippity-hey, lucky old you! There's an egg festival hop-hop happening on your island right now. I've hidden eggs and eggy recipes all about. Open your beepers, find those sneakers, and enjoy this bunny day bed recipe I cooked up. I wonder if this is because I didn't talk to him. I did not talk to him when we found him the other day. I just kind of noped out of that situation. Um, so I'm wondering if he had to send me a letter because that's what he would have done otherwise. It's kind of explained the event. Uh, let's go see how this looks. I mean, we're going to need another wallpaper, of course, but... Okay, 
Let's pick this up and put this down. That's cute. I really like the kind of like, it almost looks scuffed and scratched. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend a little bit of time organizing this, this mess. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of, rid of that couch for now. And let's actually do this because it's easier and I always forget this is an option. Move that over. Um, I should still have the table on me, I think. There we go. I am gonna redesign that eventually when I have the ability to, I think. I think you can redesign that. Uh, oh, there's our lamp. Um, and eventually this, this will look a bit better. Right now it's just kind of a... a mess. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, and, like, you know, Lord knows why I have a fax machine in here. Put this away. Put that away. There we go. Okay, and really quickly, Nook did mention something about being able to purchase more fences. I don't know if that starts today or if that starts in the future. Um, but I would like to go check and see. Just because, like, you know, fences. <laughs> Especially... Actually, I think the hedge one isn't sold in here, is it? I think he has to give that to me. Uh, let's see. Redeemed Nook Miles. Oh, no, they are in here. Ooh, the country fence is one of my favorites. Okay, low-key. <laughs> Might need to buy that. I love me the country fence. I really hope that one day, though, they allow us to refurbish the fences. Or at least craft different variants of it. I've been saying for the longest time, I want to see, like, a mossy stone fence. Or, like, you know, the white picket fence that we saw in the trailer and stuff like that. Like, let me, let me have different colors of fences. Um... Eye colors, body paint... Uh, the- oh, is this sitting? <gasps> Ooh, okay, we might need to save up for that a little bit. We do have the, the Nook Miles right now, but I don't really want to spend them. Uh, I think that's everything from there. Oh wait, oh god, that's not the B button. Uh, and let's check out Nook Shopping as well, just in case there's anything in here. I already have that. <laughs> um, ooh, blue. I'm very easily tempted. Just show me something blue and I'm all over it. I don't have enough, uh, enough bells for that, but I will get that eventually. <gasps> they come in different colors? I had only seen the red one. Oh, well then, you guys know what this means. We're going to have rainbow toots all over this... Uh, I was about to say all over this farm. <laughs> I've been playing too many farming games all over this island. Oh, I'm here for it. My goal is to invite over... I don't even know how many colors there are. I'm hoping it's like the entire rainbow. And just invite over a whole bunch of people and have us all just sit down simultaneously. That is the goal. I wish that that gave it to me right away. <laughs> There we go. There's our fencing. Um, so that's gonna be awesome. I guess next time what we're gonna do, maybe I'll start moving some trees and trying to organize things a little bit. Of course it's not gonna be anywhere close to what it should be for a long, long time, but I think, you know, making it look a little bit more lived in might be a good idea. Um, so for now, you guys, I think this is a good place to end it. I want to thank you all so much for watching. We have our three new villagers moving in, so our villagers officially are... Uh, we have Pierce and Cat, of course, we have Zucker, we have Cookie, and now we have Flurry. So those are some really good villagers. I'm really happy. Um, and I guess we'll have to see what tomorrow brings. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all next time. <laughs>